went up on the hill about 12 o'clock Reached right back and I got me a pole Went to the hardware, got me a hook Put that line right on that hook Well, you see, you're going fishing all the time I'm a good fishing too Bet your life, love and wife I catch more fish than you And a fish will bite if you got good bait Here's a little something I would like to relate Any fish will bite if you got good bait I'm a good fishing, believe I'm going fishing I'm a going fishing too Welcome to show 67, um, Henry Thomas from Texas. Yes, uh, you didn't think the Love and Spoonful wrote it, I presume. And uh, Henry Thomas was a master of the sweet potato. What's the sweet potato? The sweet potato is what you heard doing the solo in Wild Thing by the Trogs. <laughs> that odd wind instrument they use instead of a guitar solo. Ah, yes, Going Up the Country by Canned Heat. There's another one. Yes, the sweet potato. Heck of an instrument, never even tried to play it myself. Old and only in the way. A great old song. A great old song I learned from Charlie Poole, and of course it came from a bit before that. Uh, there's a reason why uh, the North Carolina Ramblers and such string bands were called old-timey bands and played old-timey music because they played the stuff from when they were kids, which is to say 1900. So uh, here's another one Charlie Poole did. As you walk along the street How often times you will meet Some poor old man who's getting old and gray With age his back is bent In his pockets not a cent And for shelter he has nowhere to stay with relations by the score They all turn him from the door They see him on the street They'll pass him by And if you ask them why they do They'll turn to you and say He's poor, he's old He's only in the way So let's us cheer them on For they won't be with us long don't cheer at them because they're old and gray. Remember while you're young that for you the day will come when you'll be old and gray and only in the way.
is for rich as well as poor. For take a rich man when he's growing old. His relations round him stand and they hold his hand and they wait for him to die. They want his gold. And what it's truly worth to own the treasures of this earth. He'll discover at the closing of the day After all he's like the poor When his journey's nearly o'er He finds he's old and gray And only in the way So let's us cheer them on For they won't be with us long Don't quarrel with them Cause they're old and gray you're young, that for you the day will come when you'll be old and gray and lonely in the way. That's right. Hi, folks. It's show 67. Show 67. Can you believe it? That's a lot of shows. On the other hand, Lucille Ball probably did a thousand or two thousand shows. She had a little help, though, of course. But getting sixty-seven shows done, uh, it's it's, uh, it's good, I think. Wonder if Captain Salty's End of the World show is going to get sixty-seven episodes. There's a good question. We'll know in a year or so. I think. I think they do one every week. I'm not sure. I don't know. I did meet Captain Salty once. He didn't tell me his real name. Could be just about anything. And I may never find out. Mm. Well, that was some winter, huh? Uh, I, I know it was a real winter some places, but in Vermont, it was hardly even winter. Really creepy because in Vermont, winter is like one of the main attractions. I mean, you know, feature presentation, that kind of thing. And it didn't show up this year, at least not yet. It's now April 4th, and wonderfully, it's the, uh, we have finally come to the end of the Mercury retrograde. It's April 4th, and that's done. Good thing, too, if you know anything about Mercury retrograde. You may not. Who knows? It's hard for me to tell, just looking at you, what you're into and what you're not into, what you're likely to know about and what you're not likely to know about, what you're unlikely to know about, what you don't know about, about what you don't know. I'm clueless. That's because I'm staring at a camera and not a person. And here's a song I found on a Mae West album. Mae West and W.C. Fields, songs from their movies. Uh, in W.C. Fields' case, um, monologues from his movies. It's called I'm No Angel. I believe it's from the movie I'm No Angel. Uh, in which she um, seduces the young Cary Grant, I believe. She essentially discovered Cary Grant. Tall, dark, and handsome, I think she called him. I used to do this with the rounders over 30 years ago. Mm. Low down music trickle up 
your spine Baby, I can warm you with this love of mine I'm no angel Let me feel your fingers running through my hair I can give you kisses till you walk on air Love me, honey, love me Till I just don't care I'm a new angel I'll take your blues Stomp down your troubles Rock you with a steady roll Here's your connection back of me you see a poster. This is from the early 80s, possibly the late 70s. Can't recall. Maybe there's a date on it somewhere. But I unearthed it. I, I scraped it off a brick wall, you may notice. <laughs> uh, it was such a great poster. I, uh, you know what it is. You're looking down on the top of somebody's head. They're wearing shades, and that's basically all you see of their face. You can almost see their nose, but this is a poster at the club Hara. That's H A Hara, and um, it was up near Columbus Circle, I believe. God, where, yeah, I guess so. Near Columbus Circle, up there, uptown, and it was a great basement club. Jim Forat. One of my role models used to run it, and he formed the Manager's Alliance. And the Manager's Alliance is what put on this show, featuring the Ray Beats, which was a mm, surf guitar instrumental kind of band, and uh, the Bush Tetras, which was an innovative uh, female band, three, three women and a guy drumming. And uh, they were impressive, uh, especially because of their guitar player, Pat Place, who's still around. And uh, she played a Telecaster on the treble pickup with a glass slide. Loud. 
uh, they were great conceptually and very difficult to listen to because it made your ears hurt when she played the guitar. She played it real loud. But I like them anyway. There were a lot of bands that were quite loud and abrasive. There you go. That's the word I'm thinking of. Abrasive, purposefully abrasive. You ever hear of Suicide? There's a band to look into. This is from Eric Satie in the 1880s. And it's only about four minutes long. I know that some will perceive it as going on forever because they are used to the pop sensibility of the present day. This, of course, was experimental music in 1880. Anyway, No Cien is number five, which uh, I recorded once before, but I was tapping my foot and it was picked up like thunder <laughs> by the uh, room mic. <laughs>
And now, I was looking through a book by Woody Guthrie of errata, scraps, stories, poems, songs. I think it was called Born to Win. This, of course, was also over 30 years ago. And along with I'm No Angel, we used to play this. I found Woody Guthrie's words in the book and it looked like a song to me, so I wrote music to it. And now, 30 years later, people are doing all kinds of stuff. There's a couple of albums of uh, Woody Guthrie songs like this, Woody Guthrie pieces that have been made back into songs or forward into songs. And uh, they did one with Hank Williams, too. I believe Bob Dylan put that out on his own personal record label, uh, which I can't remember the name of. I don't have the album. Eventually, I'll get it. At any rate, um, Woody Guthrie wrote the words, and I wrote the music. And it's called Dance a Little Longer, dedicated to Jeff Berman. Thank you, Jeff. He requested it. He's out there in Pittsburgh. I'd like to see Pittsburgh. You know, I've heard good things about it. Dance a little longer. and smokes are gone ice on the steps and you can't get home hang your things on a peg in the corner giggle and a wiggle and a dance a little longer dance a little longer rain three days and a bar ditch full can't get home it's a muddy old pool i live on top of that bad hill yonder that's why i gotta dance a little longer dance a little longer dance a little longer hey Lightning set my place on fire. Thunder shook my flooring boards. The wind come along and stole my lumber. That's why I gotta dance a little longer. Dance a little longer. Tied my bicycle up to a post. It got stole by a graveyard ghost. He won't bring it back till you kiss me stronger. That's why I gotta dance a little longer. Dance a little longer. Dance a little longer. I got a woof of the way you smell All the other girls can't jump in the well They smell strong, but you smell stronger That's why I gotta dance a little longer Dance a little longer Had a date tonight with a girl down the road Told her I'd stop off and dump my load She's pretty, pretty, but you're lots prettier That's why I gotta dance a little longer Dance a little longer Dance a little longer, hey Oddly enough, the, the last thing is, it's, it reminds me of Astronomy Domine. But, at any rate, dance a little longer. Feel free to play it, just give me a little credit. Me and Woody. Well, that was show 67. I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, I dredged up Fishing Blues which I have liked for a long time, but I haven't done. I've never played it for an audience. Or if I did, it was 30 or 40 years ago. But um, 
That one, Dance a Little Longer, I haven't played since the late 70s. And uh, Old and Only in the Way, I've known for a while, but I didn't get the words straight for a long time. I finally got enough of the correct words and uh, two verses I could really stand behind. And I did. And now the whole thing is behind me. Okay, so um, what was the other one? Ah, I'm No Angel, the Mae West song. Yes, the song of seduction. Mm. Of course, as a guy, I don't really believe in seduction. Um, I, I find it difficult to tell the difference between f forcing your will on somebody and seduction. Many people find them completely different, but I find there to be a gray area and I just, I'm not sure what to do about that. Not so comfy with being seductive. Oh well. Okay. Now there's two minutes to go. You know, when I put ravioli in boiling water last night, the instructions said to put them in for two minutes. Two to three minutes, it said. And after a few minutes, I realized I hadn't looked at the time. Doggone. But they were great. They were truly great. I had them with Delamore spaghetti sauce. Or is it ravioli sauce? Well, it's sauce. It's a great local Vermont spaghetti sauce. And it's the first time I've ever had any. And it was great. Frank, your sauce is great. No date, not even in the tiny print. What are you gonna do? Five. 